Hey y'all, welcome back. This week I will be painting one of my absolute favorite comic book characters of all time, Frank Castle, AKA The Punisher. So uh, before I started this painting, I had I'd done a couple versions of these streaks that you're seeing here and uh, they didn't quite turn out how I wanted, so I just erased it. So that's the remnants of basically what you're seeing on the board there. And I figured this would probably be more of a gritty painting, so I just left them. To start with, I just wanted really to take the American flag and the stripes on the, the white stripes on the American flag and turn those into the teeth or the bars of the Punisher's logo. And that was kind of the original idea or image I had in my head. So um, trying to get those white bars on the flag spaced out correctly with the squeegee, that was, um, that was probably the biggest hurdle. And I think once that was working, then uh, the rest of it just kind of came pretty easy. So originally just started with the big squeegee to uh, get that sort of grittiness on the flag and then coming in with the smaller squeegee to carve out the skull and initial shape of the Punisher's face or his head. I think one of my favorite depictions of him is the uh, by Goran Parlov, that artist that worked with writer Garth Ennis on the Punisher Max line. His, his sort of simplicity of his style is always like, probably I think the captured Frank the best for me it has kind of like a sort of the right size body shape and look of what I always kind of had in my head of Frank Castle so there's a bit of that I think in this depiction uh, coming in with an angle brush just to sort of like notch in his features one of the things I was going for with this image was to try and create some like a big bold iconic image you know, something you would see on an issue or a cover of The Punisher. And speaking of covers, the the very first issue of The Punisher that I saw, I would have been eight years old at the time, 1989, issue 10 of What If, where the Punisher's family hadn't been killed. So that cover caught my eye and I don't know how I got it. I just remember it being on the news rack and I think I snuck it into my mom's uh, grocery haul. So when we're at the supermarket, I think I just put it on the conveyor belt and it went through because there's no way my mom would have let me get that comic book with this dude in a skull outfit gunning down two corrupt police officers on the cover. This kind of painting lends itself quite well to um, someone as brute as the Punisher. The I think I don't think he looks right unless he looks pretty rough and beaten up. I don't think he's done a night's work without uh, taking a few blows to the face. Going back to covers just for a quick second, I really love Dave Johnson's covers that he did for the Punisher Max line. He has a very bold yet deceptively simple style for his cover work. So I guess that's a similar quality that I was striving for with this painting as well. Something very simple, iconic and bold, all in one glance, you get it. Yeah, I felt like it was a perfect opportunity to finally paint one of my favorite characters. Grabbing that little four inch palette squeegee here, coming in, kind of defined some of the, uh, the jawline highlights on the neck or shaping up some of the skull. It doesn't have the same sort of delivery as the large squeegee. I'm not quite sure if it's just a um, difference in material, maybe a silicone versus rubber. Um, the bigger squeegee has a better, more consistent smear effect. Right here, I'm just using a sort of a Q-tip with an angled end to go in and mark out the stars on the flag. Hardest part about this is trying not to touch it and remove the paint, and if you look right Boom, there, I accidentally touched it and removed some of the ink. So it's a little difficult at times, making sure you don't touch it. 
distressing the image a little more with the duster. I think uh, you can never have too much of a distressed, grungy look, especially when it comes to something like, or a character like the Punisher. I think my interest in the Punisher seems like a fairly straightforward evolution. Um, because I remember getting books from the library on the sort of the collected editions of the golden era Superman and Batman comics from the 30s and loving those but out of between Superman and Batman you know loving more of Batman's vigilantism and you know not necessarily understanding that at the time but I think the next evolution of that was I really loved the old Zorro show, uh, the old black and white one that I would watch on the Disney Channel every once in a while. And then I think from there, yeah, when I saw The Punisher for the first time in, you know, around age eight, I think over, you know, the span of childhood, those years, you're just going to be drawn to a big, bold image like a skull. And to understand that he's hunting criminals. Uh, you know, the neighborhood I grew up in was pretty rough, so there was uh, there was a lot of gang violence, there were shootings, um, break-ins, assaults. It was, that was my upbringing, and um, it was a rough city, I think, for the most part, especially the rough neighborhood we were in, so police being around, um, criminal activity being around all the time, that was par for the course, and um, think you grow up around it and it just seems like second nature so I think overall the image was just about a almost an hour exactly I have not seen the Netflix Punisher series I don't know I, I saw the uh, season two of Daredevil with him in it and I thought he was pretty good but then there was some stuff where I just saw Frank Castle crying and I was like that doesn't seem like the Punisher at all all mopey uh, as far as the films go, uh, you know, Dolph Lundgren, that one's kind of a joke of the 80s. And then Thomas Jane, I feel like that totally missed the mark on the tone. The Ray Stevens in Warzone felt more in line with the comics, but there's still a lot of ridiculous stuff in that. I just, I guess I don't feel like they've ever really nailed down the Punisher in, uh, as far as television or film goes, but that's my opinion. I don't know, if you guys, what do you guys think? Do you have a favorite film or did you like the Netflix series? Well, that does it for this week's episode. Hope you guys had a blast with uh, me painting The Punisher. And if you dug this video, then please click right here on any one of these other videos. And I'm sure you will love those just as much. So thanks again for tuning in. Catch you next time.